Welcome back, Travels of Dislada Havoc here, and we are finally back after like a three month hiatus. Um, I kind of put it out on Twitter to let you guys know what was going on. I basically crashed my computer. I didn't crash my computer, I freaking murdered my computer. A uh, little mistake in the house, and needless to say, that computer was toast. And so, unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish my Project Ozone, and I was so, I so wanted to finish that one. I was having so much fun. But, you know, things happen, and even if I was able to kind of reset stuff up, uh, it would have taken a long time watching the last video to kind of get everything back where it was. I wouldn't have, long story short, it's gone. The save was gone. Um, I basically had to piece the computer together from other parts just to get up and functioning until I could order some new uh, computer stuffs. And now I've got my new computer stuffs, and now we're up and running. And so basically, I'm on a brand new computer. And uh, so first of all, let me apologize if sound sucks or video sucks. I've been testing and testing and testing, but you never know how it's going to be until you finish your first episode. So here we go. Uh, we are playing Modern Skybox 3. As you can see, I actually jumped into it <clears throat> just to kind of get a feel for it. I wanted to be able to figure out the opening part with the islands for this because I didn't have a... Um, exact understanding of how it was going to start and i am turning cheats on just to let you guys know just because there is a chance that i'm going to need to like adjust the quest book or anything like that and so here we go so we're gonna go ahead and create a new world and we'll kind of talk about what's going on i'm going to be doing modern sky Bucks 3 as well as i think i'm going to try to do the new uh, I forget the series called. I tried Blast Off a while ago, and I really, really enjoyed Blast Off. But like I said, it was a whole bunch of stuff I'd never done before. It was something new and completely different, and it was my first introduction to like Ex Nihilo and all of the different mods like that. And I thought maybe coming back to the new one, I think it's called Lost Souls, is something I want to look into uh, doing. So I might do these two simultaneously. It'll also kind of break up the monotony of doing the same pack every single day. And I might look into possibly even doing a third one if I can get myself back into a good rotation. Now, I'm sorry that we're sitting there just looking at a blank screen, but apparently this takes a while to load. So, oh, there we go. So we are on a random island with nothing. Like, skyblock for real. Like, just bedrock. And then a book that basically says, like, what are you going to do? All right? So the first couple things we need to do... Uh, complete this quest after updating the pack. It's a okay, so don't have to do that one yet. Uh, to start off, you're going to need to collect two spruce wood bark blocks and use them to make a crafting table. In the okay, so I from what I read earlier, this is all kind of like not necessarily. I got to look at this thing here. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. So we have to create ourselves an island. We have a couple different choices. Um, I believe it's like sand. Uh, here we go. A sand island, a snow island, a wood island, a grass island, or a magma island. Now, I don't know if there is like an expert mode for this mod pack, but I thought with a whole bunch of stuff that I've never seen before, expert mode may not be the best way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and not even look into that right now. But I am going to challenge myself and try to start off with the uh, magma island, which is apparently supposed to be the most difficult. I mean, it says difficult next to it and the rest of them didn't, so... So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the magma island. And if I read everything correctly, I need to type island, create, and then magma. And this is the stuff I was testing out uh, prior to actually getting on. So we do have a little island here. Um, we start off with some white water. Um, and when I did test this out, I didn't test out the magma island. I just tested out creating an island. So I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. This will be interesting. Um, I don't know. No, we don't get anything from clicking on any of these items. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is well, I'm going to pick up some items here. And then we're going to read that little quest that I was just talking about just a second ago. Um, this book right here. So on the Magma Island, what we need to do is it's the most difficult island and it uses techniques mainly used in stage two. Okay, that's down here in the resource production. Uh, this island is not recommended for the first time with this mod. Of course, that's how I'm going to do it, though. Uh, there's a limited uh, petrified wood, so use it sparingly. Uh, you can use a cutting knife to get more out of the petrified wood. Okay, I'm going to remember that. Uh, petrified wood lasts for 12 items worth in the furnace, and then the planks uh, for three. So if I get four planks, it's the same. So if I get more wood using that knife, that's going to be more burning. Okay. 
Uh, first steps are to gather some cobblestone using the magmified stone. Okay, the magmified stone has strange interactions with crystal fluid. Oh, I wonder if that's the white fluid. Uh, when magnified soda is placed next to crystal fluid, it will randomly create cobblestone. The more sides surround the... Ooh. Okay. Well, let's try this out first then. Let us safely chop down these trees. I don't want to lose any of this wood. Okay. And I kind of want to do vein miner, but I think that might be a bad idea and I may not get all my wood. And I have a feeling this wood is going to be kind of valuable. Yes. Let us... Oh, cool. Oh, there's another one right there. Cool. So, what are we going to do here? How are we going to do this? Um, if I... Oh, there's wood going down right there. If I put you here... Does soul sand fall like sand? No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Alright, and... And if I put you there, then I pick this up. Will you go between those two? Let me see. Hopefully this doesn't flow me off the, the edge. Ooh. Okay. If I put you here, will you redirect? Yes, you'll redirect between... Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, look at that. We're already producing some. Now, if I move this wood and move that soul sand right there, it said the more sides it hits, right? So it means now it's hitting two sides. Ugh! Oh my goodness. Okay. Let us not worry about that for just a second. Let us get ourselves a crafting table, which means I probably have to use one of these petrifieds. Crafting table, sweet, a crafting station. And we will put this crafting station. Well, I can put it right here safely because it's still going to hit those two. Good. Okay. Now, um, I'm trying to think of what I need to do here. <laughs> Apparently, I'm getting plenty of cobble. So I can start making up some slabs, which will be nice. And apparently I just uh, completed a quest. So let us start put, ah, there we go. Let's, oh jeez. Oh my goodness. How many times can I place the wrong block? Like seriously? Um, you know, actually this is my half slab layer. So that's actually probably the better layer to do it on anyways. Um, but I do want to get this branched out a little bit. And see what else. I don't have a pickaxe to pick any of this up. Okay. Just just branching out a little bit. And then I can get kind of situated. Um, now that I'm not on a little 3x3 three three island. That was basically my goal. Is to get away from a 3x3 three three island. And I think we are successfully doing that at the moment. Okay. So let's get some more cobblestone over here. Get off this. Okay. And let's make up some more slabs. And I wonder if I can make a builder's wand already. Um, do I really want to use the limited wood that I have for sticks? Probably not. All right, so we've got cobblestone generation started. That's the easiest. This is supposed to be harder, but that is by far the easiest cobblestone generation has ever come. Like seriously, ever. Um, you know what, I think there's another piece of wood on here, but I just, yes there is, okay. So if I can get this guy out of the way here, I can get that other side and I can get this side right here. Let us make ourselves a pick. Let's do that. I think I'm okay with spending a little, hold on. What's that cutting knife recipe? What is that cutting knife recipe? Um, difficult cutting knife, stone cutting knife. That's gonna be three cobble and two sticks. Okay, let's do that. Let us make up a couple sticks. I'm assuming it's probably the same recipe. Cool. And no, it was here and here. And a little bit of cobblestone here, here, and here. Yes. Okay. I got it right. Now let's see. I was getting four. Now let's see if I get any more. I'm up to eight. Cool. So you get six like that. That's cool. Okay. Let's make ourselves a pick and kind of get this stuff a little more productive right off the bat. So let's break all these extra blocks that I don't need. I want to open this path up so you hit this side too. Cool. So now you're getting that side too. And I wonder if I put more slab. Can I make a wand already? Uh, oh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't know how many sticks I'm going to need, but I have a feeling I can be productive here. 
I have a feeling I can do it um, and not be wasting too much wood. So let's go ahead, because I got plenty of cobble. That is not an issue. Let's just branch this out a little bit more. And hopefully, 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 um, I'll be able to get rocking and rolling. I kind of like the way this is set up because I think I can make like a flow and just have all the cobble flowing out to an outer edge and I can just kind of cover it up for right now just to kind of get out of the way. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying, but in my head it does. All right, so. And will you wrap all the way around do this? That's the question. Can I get you to wrap all the way around? No, you don't. But if I move this crafting table, like so. Okay, cool. So yeah, now they are on all four sides there. And, and if I do this, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want to put a little platform like right here so it has a place to flow around the edge. There we go. And now that is fully covered as well. So now all these both have all four sides exposed. Cool. And let's go ahead and just get the soul sand up and out of the way. Let Wow, see, I'm already at a decent amount of cobblestone. Uh, we'll just put you floating over here for a second. I really hate floating items in skyblocks, but I do have to have a lot of stuff, so it's just, it's gonna happen. Um, let me put you guys, there we go. Just to make sure I don't lose you. Um, so yeah, so here's, here's my idea. Here's my idea for cobblestone generation. If I kind of create this little platform like this, and I can actually knock these out too. Um, darn it. Just like that. Okay. I've got a plan. I promise you I have a plan. There's a plan here. Um, let us... Do I have any more sticks on me? I got two sticks. Let's make an axe as well. Because I want to get that block right there. I don't want to lose that one too. Let's do this and make an axe. And let's chop you up. Okay. All right. Because you can see all of it is like kind of pushing to the outside here. And so I think if I put like just a little platform. Yeah, see this. I think this will work well. This will also keep me from uh, hitting this fluid stuff constantly. And it annoys me because it keeps pushing me over. So if I do that like this. There we go. So what's gonna happen is, it's just gonna keep pushing these blocks to the outside. I can keep run by and picking them up. That I think is some highly productive um, cobblestone genning for the very beginning, I don't know. I don't know what word I was trying to say there, but yes, some highly productive generation of cobblestone where I can just keep running around and picking them up like that, cool. And I've got a two layer on the outside. Let's go a little bit wider, let's do that. I'm gonna finish widening this up and then we'll kind of take a look at the next uh, task right after that. So we'll be right back. All right, so got the platform laid out a little bit better. Um, just just a little wider. I mean, I really didn't get much done. I just I thought that was kind of useless to do that on camera. And let's see what, okay, so I still got this stuff. So first thing I need to do is make some dirt and a sapling. And yeah, so let's see what else this thing has <laughs> has for us. Okay, so I started my magma gener or my cobblestone generation with this guy right here. Um, most support stages provide, okay, so casings are a block that are used by a few machines. That's something I can do with stone, um, but I need resources. So I'm thinking the first thing I'm gonna have to do is make a mob farm. I think that just kind of goes without saying. So let us branch out a little bit here like so and oh wait I wanted to put you there not there whatever there and then there we go keep it safe so there's I need to go 25 blocks out so we'll go 27 just to be safe pick up some more cobble while I'm here I, this is going to be a pretty nice little way to make cobble to start off I would say I kind of like it Okay, 
So I should just be able to go out 27 like this with the stack that I have in my hand and make just a small little mobby farm. Although I should probably wait till daytime to do this. Oh no, I don't have to, it's all half slabbed. Okay, so we're still safe. And yeah, hopefully we'll get this up and running pretty quickly and we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm really excited for this pack. Like I said, there's just a whole bunch of, oh. Yeah, it helps if I'm gonna do my 27 blocks and if I don't use them for these other building parts too as I'm counting off. Okay, so what block am I at right here? I am at 1,119. And this is, one of I, so 14 blocks out, okay. Oh, perfect, and I'm back to 27. Look at that, look how that worked out. 14 plus 20, 13 gives me my 27. All right, so we'll get this platform built up out here and get our mob farm going and hopefully get some of the stuff we need to get going. I'm, I'm very curious as to how this is gonna work without any like dirt. Like, how am I gonna get dirt? <laughs> Uh, I think that's a pretty valid question because um, Ex Nihilo, I guess it's called, is uh, not in the mod pack. So there's no barrels and, you know, organic materials and stuff like that to do it with. So it's going to be, I don't know, very interesting on how we're going to do this. Okay, so this is going to be my walkway. No, this is going to be my outer edge. This is going to be my walkway. This is going to be my step up for the farm. So these two blocks are the farm. This is that step off layer. This is the walkway and this is the outside. Okay. Now, if I said that's the walkway, no, that's the wall. So I do this so I can just put the rest of it up with my builders one. I'm not making a huge mob farm, just one that gives me enough to get started. That's, that's all I'm going with. Uh, it's probably gonna be about five wide. Not a huge one, just something simple. Hey. Um, so how many is that? So this is gonna be one, two, three, and then that outer layer. So yeah, so about seven wide. Um, how? Hold on. This is one too high, isn't it? Darn it. Let's go smack them off. Smack them off. Ah! No, 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 you're supposed to smack off. Smack off. I'm not letting anything blow up yet. Ha. Ah. Ooh, I wonder if gunpowder is helpful. Probably not yet, but you know, whatever. I got some gunpowder. So I need to uh, raise this up a level. Where's my table at? So I can make some more slabs here. Okay, so we need to raise you up a level so we don't have any more mobs on. I, I sat there and even mentioned, you know, doing this at night. All right. This is one of those ones where I should just keep F7 on so I don't make little stupid mistakes. Like right now I'm walking sideways and not paying attention to where the end of this is. Okay. All right, so now this walkway should be mob proof. Well, once I finish. And we'll get our little mob grinder going. Or not mob grinder, but a little itty bitty mob farm here. So this is gonna be my step up. This block is gonna be spawnable, isn't it? Um, so we're going to do this. Okay. And then, no, that's the wall. This is my path. Okay. I know I, I do this all the time. I, I'm like, okay, this is how I want to do it. And then I just probably sound like a crazy person because you guys don't know what's going on in my mind. Um, so this is my step up block here. So that is now a half slab. And then this is going to be a full. Okay. So this is where the mob farm itself is going to be. Okay, cool. I've got that straight now. So let's finish building this out a little bit. And apparently I already <coughs> killed my uh, builder's wand. I'm not wasting any more wood on that right now. It it did me well for the first part right here. But uh, yeah, I can't waste anymore. So what I got, I went one, two, three, four, five out. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we'll get this thing built up and rocking and rolling. Can I stop placing blocks in the wrong spot, please? 
Now, I don't know if this is an adjustment because uh, let me give you a little rundown as we're building this up. I have actually yet to play on any Minecraft version above like 1.9, I think. I might have done a 1.10 once, but I'm pretty much in the 1.7 generation. I was kind of sticking with those mod packs for the longest time. And so there's a lot of new stuff just in Minecraft, like the vanilla Minecraft aspect that I know nothing about that I'm going to need to learn about. And so, um, yeah, feel free to help me with that and tell me when I'm doing stupid stuff or I don't understand exactly what's going on. Wait, hold on. This is my step up. This is where I'm going to be swinging. Yes. Make sure I'm doing this right. There should be two blocks. So right there. Okay, cool. And let me finish getting this mob farm built up because there's no reason to watch this. We've all seen mob farms built before. I'm going to get this finished built up. And then once I'm done with that, I will be back. All right, so I've got my little baby mob farm going over there and it is filling up quite quickly, actually. Uh, a lot quicker than I thought it was. I literally just walked over here, um, picked up some cobble and turned around and there's already mobs starting up over there. So that's awesome. So the mob farm is working. Uh, everything is half lived over there so I don't have to worry about anything uh, spawning outside of it. I did double check it. And let's take our little, oh, something's shooting at me. Um, should you be able to shoot at me? Um, who's hitting me and how are you hitting me? Are you hitting each other? Oh, that's right. Oh, the I don't know the combat mechanics yet. I Like I said, I have not played anything really since 1.7, so I'm used to just spamming away at the, the mouse button trying to do damage, and you can't do that anymore. Um, I might need to take this up like a level so I can kind of get all the way around. I might do that like right now. So I can kind of hit everything. And then also I'll be able to collect all the mobby drops, which is, well, the whole point for this thing in the first place. But I like how open it looks. Um, you know, it's just a mob farm, so it doesn't need to be anything special. But I do kind of like how open it looks. And I can just kind of run around and get what I need and get all that stuff. and. I don't know, it, it, it's gonna work. It's gonna work for right now at least. So first thing I'm thinking is I need to start getting like some dirt and stuff like that. Um, I know dirt and sapling was one of the things it mentioned. And I don't know if, aha, it does have loot bags. I was about to say, I don't know if this mob, mod has loot bags or not, but if it does, thorn, ooh, diamond sword, that's useful. And a saddle, okay. So first things first, let's, let's check out the book. Again, real quick, nothing's opened except for this stuff. The biggest thing I'm seeing is dirt and uh, some kind of sapling, it looks like. So let us see what we can do to get some dirt and to see how productive we can be today. So dirt, um, can't craft it, obviously. I know I'm probably, I have a feeling it's gonna be down to this combustion stuff. If I blast from plant matter, I can get some dirt, okay? but that doesn't help me get the sapling to get the plant matter. So how can I get a sapling and dirt? Let's keep those back up there. There we go. So saplings, no crafting. Um, I can't do the infusion yet. Um, oh, sapling infuser. How am I supposed to get a sapling? <laughs> um, yeah, there's only one way to do that. Oh, it's a drop. I can get drops. Um, how do I get a sapling? World transmute? Spruce sapling, but what? How am I supposed to get a sapling? Huh. This could be curious. Like, obviously I can do the dirt. I see that I can do the dirt. Um, and then the bonsai, I just learned about these. These are so cool. You plant a tree in there and it just kind of does its own thing. Um, and I'm gonna pause real quick and kind of look into how I can get a sapling real quick. Uh, do some research because I don't want to spend all my time on camera thinking about it and then we'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've got the plan, and it's going to take me. I, I might, I might take the time to kind of grind out some of the stuff uh, off camera, just because what basically I need to do is I can't make an oak sapling right now, but what I can make is a dark oak sapling. I think it was. I was just looking. I was looking at all the saplings and started to try and see like what I can get my hands on, and dark oak sapling I believe could be made with. Um, some alchemical stuff. What was it? Um, dark oak sapling like that. There was chemical I can make it. This thing right here, a chemical fusion. So basically I need some rotten flesh, some gunpowder, and some nether wart to then make the dark oak sapling, but I've got to make this uh, alchemical dust stuff. And so... The alchemical dust, this cheapest one right here, is made with charcoal, blaze powder, and gunpowder. Okay, that's easy. Then I gotta get the blaze powder, which is also made in this combustion thing with some gunpowder. Now, gunpowder, I'm already starting to get because I've got the mob farm. So basically, what I need to do is set myself up with a furnace and kind of start getting some of the other stuff going and get myself... Um, the combustion so it was a stone combustion this guy right here and it was um stone um oh, what was i just looked at the name of it um it was this thing right here uh the combustion heater casing stone casing that's it and so let me just get back in here stone oops Stone combustion and stone casing. So this guy is going to require a gear, which is made with a wooden gear. And I thought you could do it with four sticks. Can't you do it with four sticks? I mean, I know this is a new pack and all, but or you know, different or whatever. But can't you make a wooden gear like this? No. So it's got to be like that with four planks. Okay. And then that gets wrapped in, is it stone or cobblestone? It must be stone. Um, wood, it's a granite, polished granite. Hold on. Sandstone. Like really, can I, can I just get to the part where it's regular stone? Oh, maybe it was just four. Maybe that was my fault. There it is, okay, cool. So we've got the stone gear. And then I wrap that in stone. Is that the one? That has to be smooth stone. Okay. So that's kind of why I made the furnace. I thought that was the case. But that looks kind of cool when it holds its inventory like that. Um, let us put our furnace right here. Like so. There we go. And I just realized that both of these items can have items or mob spawns. So... Let's go ahead and cover these guys up for right now. I don't want to cover you up, you look so pretty, but let us try this. Um, I've got this little knife here and some of this petrified wood. So let me make myself a few planks real quick. All right, um, I think this should be enough. Okay, and that should give me like 12 planks. I'm gonna need, what, eight stone for this. It was three per, so I need eight, which is gonna basically be three uh, pieces of wood. And then I need to make this guy, which is gonna be seven, so it's 15. So I'm gonna need five planks. And then this guy needs eight more stone. So I'm gonna need eight planks and a gunpowder. That's a lot of planks. Okay, so um, how many total was that? I need eight. And where was the other one at? There it is. Uh, there's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23 stone. Okay. So let's do this. Put you in there. And I guess we'll just do it with planks. Um, 23 is going to be seven, eight planks. And there we go. I saw four and I saw some. Okay. So we still have a good amount of wood left. Um, I think we're doing okay there. I'm going to need a piece of charcoal and I'm think I could probably do one of these petrified woods. And if I time it right at the very end, I should be good because 
eight of these should make 24 and I'm only doing 23. So if I can get that in there at the very last second, it should be okay. I always forget if it disappears first or if it's cooking within there, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and get this finish made up and then we'll put this together and see how this goes. So we'll be right back. All right, so I almost timed it right, but I ended up having to burn a stick to do it. But we got everything we need. Um, so basically I need this with these last seven stone. That's gonna give us this combustion. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna need one more stone, darn it. Uh, to make a button. Now I was looking and as you if you look at this thing as it gets to this it'll show you um, there's a way to kind of show you how to set it up here uh, shown here. All right so it's this frame with a button four blocks around and then one block on top and that kind of makes the whole combustion thing. It's a pretty simple setup. Hey what are you doing? Oh, man. Okay let's just make some extra stone too. Um, you do three per, right? So we'll get that for the button and then we should be able to set this guy up. I made the platform just one more wider while I was waiting because, well, heck, why not, right? And now I've got my stone button. Okay. So you go there. Where's going to push my guy? This guy goes there. Okay. So let's move some of you guys out of the way real quick. <clears throat> okay. So basically how we're going to set this up, I need a slab. I have no slab. Oh yeah, they're there. I think like, I have no slabs on me, really. All right. Um, you know what? I'm gonna put this right in the middle here. This is how this is gonna go. So we put this casing down here, okay, and then we put this guy in there and shift him on there. Okay. Now we're gonna put one here, so that I can put <coughs> the four around like this. And then I need a little stairwell to get up there. So I need to make sure that it's all half slabbed. Um, so you like that. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to have slab you too to make sure nothing spawns on top of this. There we go. And now how am I gonna get up here? <laughs> Okay, so this half slab goes there, that half slab goes there. Just literally making myself a walkway here and uh, making it an art form. Okay, so now I can hop all the way up here and I'm gonna go ahead and put one block. Oh, I don't need that, I can do it with the half slab. Oh, the half slab's already there, okay, cool. So, oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right, hopefully I never have to jump in that thing, that'd be a pain. And then I can just put one block here like that. And this should complete the structure, right? Like that? Yes, it's good to go. Okay, cool. So now what I need to do is um, basically make some blaze powder. So let's see what that recipe was. Blaze powder was, I think, just glowstone, right? Or uh, gunpowder, right, in this thing? One gunpowder with 75 heat units gives me three of those. Okay. So if I do this, do I just, I, I think I just throw it in. This is the part I'm really not too sure about, but I believe I just throw it in there like that. Oh, and I got to put the lid back on and not pick up the freaking like that. And then <clears throat> hopefully the stick will give me at least 75. Good. And then just press the button. And now I have three blaze powder. Awesome. 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 <clears throat> now it was, I'm trying to make a dark oak sapling and that required this stuff. Okay. So this stuff is made with three gunpowder, two blaze powder and a charcoal. I happen to have enough for that. And I also got to make that other table. That's, that's the other part I got to make. Um, alchemical this table right here and oh I'm going to need wood for that well now that's curious oh I've got I can do it with my planks good 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 and then I'm going to need eight more stone and some of that stuff okay so let us get some more stone going um, there's two I'm going to need six more 
which is going to be two of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that'll give me that going. Cool. And uh, what else did I need to make? You know what? I don't need this one here. That's unnecessary because I can just do this. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to get myself situated here, guys. Trying to get myself situated. Um, so to make this alchemical, I need to make this stuff. Okay, so that's one charcoal, two blaze, and three gunpowder. And was there a heat that I needed? 335. Um, I wonder if the carbon value is that, if that's what that is. Let's, let's see how many we get from one piece. I don't know if it's going to keep it in there or not. So, um, one, two, one, two, three in you. That's the recipe. How many heat units do I get from one plank? This might be wasting it. Oh, way more than enough. Okay, cool. So let's get this knocked off. And let's get all this thrown in. One, two, three, one, two, one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's try that again. Um, you, you, and you, 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 you. Back up. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Okay. And I'm wondering if I'm wasting heat right now. Like, if I'm losing heat because I'm not getting this done, like, right away. Hopefully not. Okay. So we're going to stand up here. One of you. One, two, three of you. And two of you. And... Uh, my dog is freaking out over there. Okay. And let's see. Do you still have heat? No, you don't. Son of a gun. Let us make some more planks. One plank looked like it was enough. So let's see. That's more than enough. Yes. Okay. And go. All right. So I got some of that alchemical stuff. Awesome. Okay. And... Now I've got my eight stone to make this guy. Okay, I should probably be on the crafting table. So I've got my eight stone to make this guy. Got you. And then I've got the plank. Oh, I gotta make more planks. I have five, I need six. All right, we're getting close and this is gonna be a great wrapping point for the episode. If I can just get this done, so like that. Okay, so we've got this alchemical test chat table now, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's just put this on a corner over here. Like, we'll just put it right here, right above the crafting table. I have a feeling having it close to the crafting table might be a good place to put it. So let us put it right on top of the crafting table, like so. And then we'll just put a slab on top, just like that. Okay, so now this stuff, is what's gonna give me my oak sapling, right? Oak sapling, dark oak sapling, is gonna be done with this, with one rotten flesh, two gunpowder, and one nether wart. Okay, and I remember reading something, there's like a yield percentage on these things. Um, Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so this one only gets 75%. So I'm going to need two of these recipes. So I'm going to need four gunpowder, two rotten flesh, and two nether wart just to get that guy. And I don't seem to have a lot of mobs in my farm. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to call this the wrapping up point. Um, that way, when we come back next time, we can get going on uh, getting our trees and our dirt and get some stuff planted. But I think this has been pretty productive so far. We've got our farm going, which is awesome. We've got this stone casing, which... See, now it's keeping heat. Why Why did it go? Oh, when I opened up the top, that's probably what it is. Okay, that, that's what I'm guessing is you let the heat out and then it, it goes away. So yeah, so I think this is a pretty good stopping point right here. We can get started on our trees and dirt and all that stuff next episode, but pretty productive for half an hour or about 35 minutes or however long we are now. So um, y'all know the deal, travelers. Uh, I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace.